They're in the police's way. A Kachikun hates them, so. A new hero July is born! 18th. Yes! Monday. Fuck the This mom. might be a longer yeah. episode. Oh, hold on, got the Come keys. Come on. Right, uh, right when we were just about to leave, too. Who is it? Wait, it's daytime. He said at 5 p.m. we're gonna meet, yeah? Hey, I saw some disturbing new line. It sounds like it'll be really bad if it turns out to be true. What's this about? Well, it seems like an insane group is getting ready to declare war on the Phantom Thieves. I was afraid to just hold on to that information myself, so I wanted to tell you at least. That's actually all I have to say, though. Sorry to bother you on your day off. What could he mean by an insane group? Hmm. Let's think about this after we get back. We don't have much time, so let's get going. So humid. Damn, it's so hot. The holiday means it's as crowded on here as it's going to as it is for morning rush hour. And my laptop is dying. That was fun. Alright, laptop now plugged in. Now for today's train news. Today's main topics are... Fireworks Festival tonight! Expect roads and transportation to be congested for the whole day. Sudden weather changes imminent. Be careful of sudden shifts in climate from afternoon to night. <sighs> Wait, so all these people are going to the fireworks festival? Oh man, it's going to be crowded. Oh hey, I just noticed the woman behind me. She's uh, dressed up in what I assume is a yukata. Oh, she's very lovely. Huh. This should be fun. So hot. Oh, so me and Ryuji didn't have a yukata, huh? I feel like I'm being baked. Well, yeah, you're a black cat in a black bag. I feel sorry for you, Morgana. Those girls are way too late. It must be taking time for them to put on the yukata. I guess. Why aren't you two wearing one? Because I don't have one. Got clothes like you, Kata. Man, you look way too normal in that. <laughs> People often say that to me. Yeah, it really fits you for some reason, Yusuke. Oh, by the way, the exams. What about them? I mean, I think I did stellar. I, I can imagine you uh, might not have, though. I bet you got a big fat F on them. Well, no need to be rude about it, Morgana. Shut up! We... we don't know that yet. Are you going to the fireworks festival? Yeah. Oh, hey, it's that woman who was behind me. That's right. Us too! Wanna go together? Oh, wow. Are we getting hit on? Well, I mean, Yusuke is, but uh, I don't know if the two of us are. <laughs> Come on, let's go together. Do you happen to be a model? You look great in that yukata. Waiting around's a pain, so can we just go with these chicks? Uh. Hmm. Nah, that's not fair. We can't just ditch on and Makoto. That's not right. No way. We'll both apologize to the others later. And then suddenly they come in. That's enough. What? Yusuke. What? You're disgracing your yukata. You should Ugh. be more aware of your womanhood. Damn it! Yusuke! Damn. How could you? I, I kind of have to agree with Ryuji. I mean, I wouldn't feel right with abandoning Ana Makoto, but wh why would you say it like that? Why don't you go after them then? Oh, wow. 
So those are the kinds of girls you like, Ryuji. <laughs> I like how she looks normal in her, like, headshot here, but her actual character model looks like she's looking at him condescendingly. Uh, well, uh, no, that, that, that's... You know, Yusuke is such a pretty boy, but he is really missing out because of what he says. Yeah? No, I agree. I guess. But he's more likable since he stays true to his ideals. I mean, I guess so. By the way, your cut is very lovely. Definitely more than somebody <laughs> I know. Gee, I, I can't imagine who. I heard that Ryuji's pretty much failed his <laughs> exams. You don't know that. Why are you trying to rub Ryuji in the dirt, Morgana? Oh? Oh shit, you're gonna get your ass kicked, Ryuji. Mona, you little- Hey, it's gonna get crowded if we don't get going. Yeah, no, we should probably get going. Agreed. Before Ryuji gets his ass kicked. But, man, you both look amazing in Yukata. <laughs> Talk about Japanese beauty. They, uh, they left Ryuji. Ah. Boo. Well, so much for the festival. She is. Yeah, we're just trying to get out of the rain, but look how crowded it is. Yeah, apparently everyone's trying to get out of rain, which again brings my point. Why is it easier to study on a rainy day? Why are more people indoors? I guess everyone had the same idea. Yeah. Well, what's up? I think I just saw someone I know. Oh? You mean the girl in that black car? Well, she's got a ride. Oh, time to show your skills, Mona. We need you as a car. <laughs> I don't think he can do that in this world. It's not possible in the real world. Yeah, really. My feet hurt. It's cold. The festival's been canceled. This sucks. Yeah, looked really nice while the fireworks were going, then the rain had to ruin it. We made such a commotion with the public, and this is what we get? <sighs> Lame. Aren't heroes that lurk in the shadows boring? Well, I mean, they have their own mysterious charm. Look at Batman. I like the shade. What are you, Moss? <laughs> You know what? I don't regret my decision. I want to change the world with a loud bang, like a huge firework. Then again, we aren't going to find someone bigger than Kanashiro that easily. Yeah. The rain is letting up. Though it's regrettable, we should go our separate ways for today. Yeah. Yeah, let's go home. Man. So much for a celebration. So you won't tell me, no matter what. Hey! I mean, I can't ask what she's doing here, you know, customer. But she's asking him questions, so I'm suspicious. I have nothing more to say to you about that. I see. In that case, I have ways of making you talk. Are you threatening him in his own business? 
The hell say? Huh? What's that supposed to? Thanks for the drink. Hey, we're not done here yet. Rude. <laughs> I'm so tempted, guys. I I'm I fuck it. I'm gonna say it. Lovers quarrel. No, you moron. <laughs> I'm just teasing you, man. What's up? It's past closing time. Clean up the place. Okay. Weird. Regrettably, the cause behind the recent psychotic breakdown incidents is still unknown. On to other news. The international hacktivist group Medjid has released a statement to the Phantom Thieves. Oh? Mm. Saying oh a lot, aren't I? Hmm. A lot of interesting developments this episode. These are the details of the message that are posted on Medjid's website. To the Phantom Thieves causing an uproar in Japan. Do not speak of your false justice. Excuse me? We do not need the spread of such falsehood. We are the true executors of justice. Ah uh, yes, the people I've heard in whispers that haven't seemed to be doing jack shit. You're right. What are we thinking? People actually using getting results. Phantom Thieves again? Well, I mean, this time it's more a hacker group that's attacking the Phantom Thieves. So I guess indirectly it's Phantom Thieves. However, we are magnanimous. We will give you an opportunity to repent your ways. If you agree to a change of heart, we will accept you as our own. If you reject our offer, the Hammer of Justice will find you. Hmm. Justice, huh? We are Medjid. We are unseen. We will eliminate evil. Akechi-san, why do you think this announcement was made at this time? Why do I have the feeling that director guy has something to do with this? I don't know the details, but there's no doubt that they were provoked by the Phantom Thieves. Whether it's a sense of rivalry or a simple attention grab, given the recent trends, I cannot say. Hmm. Might be a little bit of both. I mean, Medjet hasn't been talked about from what I've heard for a while now. So they might be trying to do a resurgence or something. So it would be trying to get an attention grab, but also, since we're both figures of justice, in theory, I mean, I don't know enough about Majed to comment on them. But, uh, it, I feel like it's both. Regardless, it's quite a nuisance. A nuisance? Both Mejed and the Phantom Thieves are nothing more than groups that uphold an egoistic justice. What a stupid thing they're getting riled up on. Yeah, really. Phantom Thieves, huh? What in the world are they? You know about them? Oh, wait, were you talking about Phantom Thieves and Mejed or just everyone else? I'm sorry. I thought you were talking about everyone else. Uh. Hmm. Who? I'm the one asking you. Don't return a question with another question. Why? Well, it's about time I go home. All right, have a good night. Make sure you lock the place up. Also, about the stuff in the fridge. Yeah? Well, I guess it's fine. Just don't use too much of it. All right, can do. It's possible that more people like these will continue to appear due to their influence. I suppose that's possible, the arm race effect. I mean, I doubt it, considering the fact that, you know, according to just what we've seen, us and this mysterious individual that's also using the metaverse are the only people that, you know, can use it. But I suppose Medjet, in a sense, is kind of like us, just using hacking instead of magic. In that respect, the Phantom Thieves face a very serious crime. I always believe there's declared war on the fan of justice with justice. This is Reduce starting to get interesting. Cost of living. 
A but new why? hero is born. Did the Phantom Thieves do something yes. to them? Fuck the Mafia. Medjet is really scary. scary. No shit. I'm looking forward <laughs> to seeing how the Phantom Thieves will OMG, deal with it. They got the Mafia, lol. So it's basically the Phantom Thieves versus Anonymous now at this point. Oh, wait, hold on. I got peas. I have a new message in the Phantom Thieves chat room. You gotta talk about Medjed. You mean those guys people online are going nuts over? Medjed. That name seems to come from one of the obscure gods from the Egyptian Book of the Dead. I saw the news, too. For some reason, they think we speak of false justice. Now then, what exactly did you want to speak of regarding Medjed? Well... Why don't we go after them as our next target? What is a suggestion? I mean, they're like bad hackers or something, right? Technically, they're crackers. Well, that's rude. No need to call- Well, I mean, we don't even know if all of them are white. Those who use the internet to illegally access and alter data. Oh. Different thing. Medjet is an organized group of such people recognized by the larger international community. So they operate on a global scale. That makes them even bigger than Kaneshiro! Right? Then it's settled. Our next target is gonna be Medjed. Oh boy, how the hell are we gonna fight a hacker group? Wonder if the nav will get hit if we put Medjed in. Oh, right! I think we'd have to figure out who's the main admins of Medjed. Since it's a group of hackers, there's bound to be, like, leaders. Or maybe we just have to find every single member, find their name, see if they have a palace, go through that It's just a big ordeal. I mean, I guess let's try it out. We'll see. It's our best bet right now. They did call us out. That would be impossible. It has to be a pseudonym. You don't even know how many people Medjet is. Oh. Wouldn't we get at least one member's info if we try and look into it, though? Even if we did, how would we discover their location? The only confirmed presence of Medjet has been online. This is a greater problem than simply finding their keywords. Unless you have more ideas, Ryuji. Hello? It seems he had suggested this without putting much thought into it. Come on, we can't back down now! People are all excited about it! Our reputation's gonna plummet if we don't face this shit! That is true. If we remain silent, people would believe we simply chose to run away from the matter. Medjet has taunted us publicly, after all. If they are criminals, we cannot let them... Be, uh, we cannot just let them be. Yeah. And we don't have any other targets right now, either. Hey, Draco. Let's talk to Mishima tomorrow. This is more of his thing. Yeah, let's do that. Also, Makoto, try seeing if your sister has any info on them. It's highly unlikely, but sure. Wow. A world-class target, huh? If we can change Medjed's heart, it'll most likely affect Mementos. That's true. Oh, Jesus, we're almost 50 minutes in. Well, with that, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're going to end this episode here. In the next one, I guess we'll try to get as much intel on Medjed as we can. See you guys then.